out as a result of me trying to solve problems I faced in my clinical setting. Uh, one of the first problems I faced was that I just could not hear through my stethoscope properly. And it was a very simple problem, yet the solutions were really expensive and complicated. And I realized that there was no industry at all that was designed to solve uh, issues that veterinarians like me or other healthcare professionals that particularly serve the base of the pyramid or that work in marginal incomes. Um, there are no companies that actually solve our needs or that produce products for our budgets. And that's where Newsync really comes into, into the picture because that's what we want to do at News. Tal was a work of about two and a half years. A lot of it was, a lot of which was me teaching myself engineering, learning it from my friends, learning soldering from my friends. And a lot of the work that went into it was just pure hacking, looking at YouTube videos and seeing what other doctors did. And the first thing that most doctors, med students particularly, do is put a microphone into their stethoscope. And that was my first stage. And from there it evolved very rapidly. We were using, uh, before long we were using uh, hearing aids because they're really good amplifiers. Uh, soon we realized that there were more than, it was more than just a veterinary problem or a specific problem to myself. I realized that doctors who are hard of hearing need this, or any physician who's hard of hearing needs this. Uh, several loud noise conditions such as ambulances, airplanes, uh, just cannot function. And I, the more and more I developed this, the more I realized that the need for this product was so great and yet there was nobody actually creating a product at the price that could be afforded by these people. Um, I ended up buying myself a, a Chinese-made digital stethoscope and that was basically, um, a, a, it was still exceedingly expensive myself. And we've created a product now that is over a third cheaper than this, which is our nearest competitor and more than 10 times cheaper than our average Western competitors. Uh, idea was basically Arvind's because uh, he been, uh, came up with this idea after the problems he faced you know, while at practice. Uh, so all we could, uh, when we looked into uh, making stethoscopes, what we realized is that the premium uh, counterparts of stethoscopes in acoustic and digital, they're well over a hundred dollars. And we all are very much uh, dedicated towards making healthcare affordable. So we were sticking to making something that's uh, really meant for the bottom of the pyramid, right? whatever we make over here. So we really stress on making affordable healthcare. So uh, we found out that uh, what actually adds on to the cost uh, in digital textbooks are that they use something called DSPs, uh, which is digital, digital signal processes. Yeah. So we found an alternative to that and we could just make it out of makers papers. So we are all makers here and uh, uh, we have a team of engineers, researchers and doctors and we came up with a design. Uh, where we could actually replace the entire uh, function of a DSP with a microcontroller and still come up with accurate So initially a lot of uh, my prototyping was happening with easy to find parts. As I, as I was mentioning, I was using microphones that I would hack out of webcams. I would take, um, eventually then microphones I got out of um, hearing aids and the same amplifiers and filtration system that hearing aids use. Uh, but eventually when I started bringing engineers on board, I realized that the kind of production that we would need, the kind of prototyping that we would need, would require a little bit more um, diversity of components. Components are still very hard to source in India. Uh, to get a component quickly, affordably, and you know, at your doorstep in time for you to actually be prototyping, uh, is very hard and still very rare. It's still much better in South India and Bangalore particularly than most parts of this country. Uh, but it's still a challenging environment uh, to work in. Uh, procurement um, uh, is, is another big issue. A lot of companies that do have these kind of uh, the kind of supplies that we may need to experiment with are not willing to give small parts. They're not willing to let us experiment with small parts. Um, the, the flexibility is so poor in the system; it kills innovation. Um, there is no way, except by bulldozing through it, or by uh, affording or being able to afford a larger sum of money for what. <laughs> for you know, a couple of components when the same price could probably afford you a large scale purchase. Um, these are things that mostly hold back hardware companies and it definitely did hold us back and stopped us from being a company for more than a year. Uh, thankfully, we had a really good support network of engineers who understood the problem, who understood that they would have to do groundwork to go out and get things done. And um, uh, thankfully, this network was uh, you know, really developed by us to a point where we could rely on the people that we source our products from, and our, our, sorry, our components from to build our product.
by around December. We're hoping to finish our clinical trials by November. Um, at the most, they'll probably be extended by a few weeks if we have any last minute adjustments to make to the production. Um, but by December, we should hope to begin production and shipping to within India, uh, the Middle East, um, and the US. Uh, we're hoping to tap into Southeast Asian markets as well as East African markets after about a year and a half of production and of being able to scale up. The primary sector we're trying to target right now is the healthcare sector. We're primarily trying to target um, healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, veterinarians, veterinary technicians who work with the base of the pyramid. Uh, people who really want to be able to afford this kind of device but currently can't. Uh, that's our primary market. Uh, eventually we're hoping to expand to the niche sectors that also really need our device such as emergency care, uh, from ambulances to um, uh, on a plane to uh, be a work in the field. So, um, from the beginning, our our real interest has been into democratize democratize the uh, diagnosis of disease. How cheap, how affordable can it be, and how efficient can it be with that cost effectiveness? 
Uh, so one of the things we really want to expand into is to is to do low cost diagnostic equipment. We want to build something called a PCR machine, something that can eff efficiently, affordably multiply DNA and have it easy to detect. So we're talking about from disease detection to forensics analysis to uh, wildlife research or any kind of clinical research. This will be an invaluable tool for people across the board. Uh, and we want to make this as well democratized and accessible to any kind of person who wants to use it. Thank you.